are a Lego lover, you're going to want to lock in because Bricks and Minifigs joining us now. The local shop offers both new and used Lego sets, perfect for any creative architect. And this morning we have owner Carl in studio to show off some of his skills. Carl, my friend, welcome. I'm so very excited to dive into this. First, let's just chat Bricks and Minifigs, who you guys are, what you offer, and what sets you apart from a traditional Lego store. Well, sure. Bricks and Minifigs is a franchise organization and has been in business for over 13 years. And we now have over 100 stores throughout the country and even one in Canada. Wow. And it's a unique store in that we not only carry new Lego products like a Lego store would, but we also carry used products that are already built. We have sets that are retired, sets that are no longer being made by Lego, and we carry the bulk uh, Lego products so you can come in and find the parts that you need. And we carry yeah. everything from little five or six dollar uh, pieces all the way up to thousands of dollars yeah. for Lego sets. Wonderful. You mentioned the parts that you need. I know a lot of people, I think, try to complete their, their kits or their sets or what have you. Yeah. Like you said, they're missing one particular part. Curious do, Carl, with that, it has been interesting to see the following that surrounds that surrounds Lego building, right? I mean, I have seen competitions. I have seen yeah. art shows. I have seen people have these on display in their homes. What do you think attracts people to this hobby and why is this something that you wanted to bring to Huntsville? It's just amazing. I mean, with the STEM type education that Lego provides yeah. and especially with the engineering group that we have here in town. It is just amazing how many people of all ages are into Lego. Yeah. I mean a lot of people, you know, we've done research and it shows that kids get into it for a while then maybe in high school it's not so cool but then after that it takes off and people just love it yeah. and it's so interesting to see the kinds of things that they have created. Yeah, out. well we're going to dive into some of that fun here on the air. Um, Carl, I don't think I've, I've ever built a Lego kit or I don't even know if that's the proper terminology but we've got something right here tell me what we're gonna try to we put call, together this morning we call these poly bags it's just okay. a little uh, introductory type kit for people that want to start into some Lego but with they so carry them all kinds basic. of things oh yeah these this only is a have lot about, of parts to be yeah, introductory Carl. there's 35 parts this is one of the smallest sets that we could this find this is introductory at 35 yeah. parts yeah and all oh, you Carl I don't even know where to begin do we have some kind of instructions in here yeah you have little instructions and they're all done Lego instructions are all done with photos okay so oh, all you nice. do is just uh, you can see that you just yeah. lay out the things the way it tells you to and put them together and okay that's all it takes to make it work should so. be pretty self-explanatory I think I'm just gonna kind of follow along maybe with you though how, okay. how are you I feel like you just have the instinct. Well, I don't, you know, I've only built one or two Lego sets sure. myself. I, I How many would you say you've built in, in your lifetime? Well, my first one I didn't build until I was already owner of a store, and it was a what we call a mock, which is a my own creation. And it was one of a little three-wheeled Cushman truckster that I used to own. Okay. But uh, I have built, you know, five or ten sets by now so it's it's coming along wow but that's it, it's uh, interesting to see the the way that they give you these pieces that fit together in such a unique way that you can build almost anything yeah. out of it I mean wait it's, and it's it's, it's color coded that's yeah. that's helpful okay so yeah. you know this is th these are good instructions if everything in the world could model these kinds of instructions you know because sometimes we've got part a and part B and it's not labeled right and no, it's not it, color coded yeah. but this is this is you've okay, got so color coded this, this is where we are so far yeah. um, you've got two pieces good. and I've got about six oh, okay yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're Carl making is, progress uh, yeah I thought I think we were gonna time this and like have a race but then we were like actually that's that will not make for good TV because yeah. <laughs> Satan cannot compete at any level. Um, as we're doing this, Carl, we also want to chat. You guys are also really passionate about nonprofit work. Tell me what we you are. have Rikers we, Rainbow coming up. We try to support the community in every way we can. And so we offer uh, gift packages and things like that for a lot of the nonprofits in the area that want to do like a fundraiser or something like that. Okay. And so uh, one of them that came to us was Rikers Rainbow, which I know you're familiar with. Yes, we love and, them. And uh, we suggested that in addition to helping them out, maybe these little poly bags would be a good thing to add to their collection to give to the siblings who have also lost a loved one, you know? So this, you know, the young child doesn't know what's going on, they've lost a baby, mm -hmm. they don't, they can't quite comprehend it. Maybe it'll just distract them for a few minutes to give them the chance to do something fun for a change. Wonderful. You know? Carl, so. that's such a sweet thing to be a part of. We certainly do love Rikers Rainbow and love that you guys are stepping into that. Um, as we wrap up here, for everyone now wanting to shop at Bricks and Minifigs, tell us one more time who you guys are, where you're located, where we can come get all these kits and more. Well, we're Bricks and Minifigs, and of course, Bricks stands for Lego Bricks, and Minifigs is minifigures. That's the little uh, the, the little yellow Lego, Lego characters. Some, Lego characters, Some are yellow, yes. some are not. I had, and, I had to phone a friend for that yeah. yesterday. I said, what is a, a, a minifig? minifig? Correct, yeah. yeah. 
So we're located on South Parkway in the Village Shopping Center, which is the same place where D Dostal Beer House and uh, Bigfoot's Little Donuts is. Oh, so it's a nice Bigfoot's little shopping little center there. Okay. Lots of things for family there. And uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. Wonderful. You can come on down and shop. Try out one of these yourself. This this is all I, this is all that I am. Um, Accomplished. Well, eh, it's a it's a good thing. You th I mean, you it's hold. Well. I think I got one, two, three, four. I got five parts. I didn't know what this piece was. But oh yeah. I need to there study that a little. Oh oh oh. oh oh okay. You know what? You I'll work on car. this more during the break. I will do that. Carl, my <laughs> friend, for thank you again so much. Oh wait, they're telling me we have some kind of surprise. Oh yes. What is the surprise? We got something. This just in breaking just news. You. I was you, about to toss a break, and they said, "Hold on, don't do that." You did not know. <laughs> Scene. I'm so made. serious, Carl. Oh my word! Are we? See Can we get a close-up of this? Oh, we they're telling made, me to hold it. We have made your set for you out of Lego, Carl. from scratch. Stop it right now! Did you? Bet, did, was this your idea? Are we seeing this, people? Look at this. There is this. Uh, this is you and me. Yes. On the set. <laughs> I love this. I thought you would like. It. I love it. I'm gonna put this. You know, again, I I know people who display these Legos in yeah. their rooms. And now I too will have a Lego on display in my oh, room. You're, Carl. You're oh yes, the TV. Things, no, it's okay. Yes, up. I'll I'll practice my building skills okay. putting it together. Carl, thank, thank you. you so much. I'm thank so you. grateful. We love you guys again.